thought I felt that right there. Another one on in here. Just trying to walk this down. Alright, Looks closer, a lot closer, ain't it? Yeah. That's right out. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I see a little bit more yeah. right in here. But we'll finish walking her down and we'll cut all of these off, grind them down, use the straight edge again. And then I see where else. Then when I do that, I'm losing, using as less filler in as possible. They had a ton of filler on this thing. Oh yeah. And when I get done with this, it's gonna have just a slight skim of filler. And it's actually low right here. So, come over real quick, Bob. See, see if you can figure out where the lower spot in that is. Just rub with your hands. Kind of just, you know. All right, find me the lower spot in this area. You want to try this? Yeah. You try it. Keep going. You can give it a try, Bob. Okay. So all you're gonna do, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get a marker and I'm gonna mark where I want you to put these at. Okay. And uh, I'll let you give I'll let you give this a try. So this one here, put your slide hammer. Normally if that don't come open, I hit it. You want that to be out. You slide that in, you pull this back, lock it on there. When I first started using this tool, I used to get my head in between there and it pinch it and it, uh, it feels pretty good. You learn how to quit doing that right away. Yeah, so that one I just put in there, uh, oh. and just, you know, pull it out, that's old metal, so you really ain't gonna, it ain't gonna come out no farther than it need to come, because that's really old metal. Yep, lock that down, get your hand out the way. Put it on that slide handle. Now you gotta, now see that thing ain't down. It's gotta be down. Yeah, you gotta pull it down, yeah. All right, not too. All right, put that 
looks good. Alright, so. I want another one here. I want another one here. We're going to have to grind this out because it ain't going to stick. It's a little paint in there. All we're doing is finding the very low spots on there. Now before, the people had, it was mud all up and down this quarter. <clears throat> My friend Jerry came by and hammered out some stuff on the rear of the quarter. I did a little bit before he got here. And see, we have to use a lot. We have to use a lot of them in there because of the fact that that bot, that panel was pretty bad in that area, and we don't want to use a lot of mud in there. So we're gonna hammer this out the best we can. See, that's what I'm saying when the sparks will do it again, because you you didn't really get a good ground. You got to push that and tilt it a little bit. Make sure you got a good ground on there. Yeah, when it sparked like that, you just know you didn't have it grounded good enough. And that's why I say a lot of times I like to use the safety glasses, but then I'm lazy. I just close my eyes when I'm, <laughs> when I'm doing that because those sparks, they spark and they spark everywhere. <clears throat> this is not really a straight edge, but it should be. This is all creased in here. So this whole thing, we're gonna have to clean this out. And yeah, we're gonna have to do some hammering and dialing. Pretty close though. Yeah. This is high. Mm. It's good in there. Thank you. 
pretty close, huh? This is time consuming, but you can uh, you can get this where you don't have to use as much body. Oh, I seen that baby come off soon. It's there, ain't it? driving. That thing was probably back in the 70s. these off of here. But they, some of them are come right off. Other ones See how you just got to take your time and yeah. just constantly, and before when they did it, they only had like six holes six that days. they, yeah. <laughs> but back then you had to drill, if you did all, look at all the ones I put in here, if you had to drill, yeah. you could never get it, you know what I mean, the only reason you could do these because these are grind off and but yeah, so new technology. Even Great though this is invention, <laughs> somebody made. Yeah, even though this is still old, I've been using this thing for over 
Jerry, Jerry sold me this. this is, uh, man, back when I first started, so. <clears throat> All right. So this body panel cannon on me here, it was worse than this. Now, I should have had the camera on, but I sh I'm shrinking this down. I'm just shrinking this down. Put it push back in on the other side still. Yeah. Oh look, it popped almost without wearing it. See how closer that's getting? Yeah. And all I'm doing is uh, I'm shrink this this panel was so badly dented and warped in here that I gotta shrink this down. I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit in here, and then that way, let's see, but it's got a it's got a quick pop in like that too. See how much even closer it came in there. Pop it back up. See, I wanted to quit. See, that's nice, but I wanted to quit popping. Maybe a little bit right over here. shrinking it like that. You see how it's, it's falling in line? But, and see, that's what I, I want. I want it where, see how it's not popping out now? So, just heating it and shrinking it. Look at that. It's really close. Should. Now you can tell, you see here, they kind of can't see this on the camera, maybe they can. See this one ain't flexing at all, but this, from this being damaged, it's just, you know, before it was popping. So when we went, if we went to do body work over this, every time you're saying that would just be pushing that panel in, you really wouldn't get a nice flat surface. But see now, I done shrunk that down. I'm on the wrong one. Oh, look at that. Pretty damn cool. I mean, that's 
a that's a slim coat of mud. You know, maybe a little. Now I can try to pull this out right here. You see, then I'm wondering once I do that, will it start canning again? <laughs> yeah. Will it, nah. Yeah, I want to do it because I want you know it's it's a nice little dip right there, right there. Yeah, that's a nice little dip right there. So if I can just, and that might strengthen it too at the same time. We'll see. Now that's one thing about metal, you can just keep working and working with it. Now it's really firm. See that? Now that's tight. That's tighter than it was before. You see that? Just from shrinking, shrinking that metal down, it's, you know. So this is good, man. This is ready for body filler. And you know. This is ready for body filler. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you know what you're doing. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm telling you. I might learn something if I keep hanging around you. The more I try to teach other people, the dumber I get. Mm-hmm. <laughs>